3D printing is big at CES 2015, and it used to be that you had to find a friend that had a 3D printer in order to have one, but now it's almost mainstream. But that doesn't really mean that it's good, actually. Now that it's more mainstream, everything has become a lot more closed. Um, there are some big names in 3D printing that have closed their source that we don't need to talk about, because here we are at the BQ booth, and we're gonna talk open source. The really cool thing with the Hephaestos is they try to make it as open as possible. You can even change the filaments. They don't lock that down at all. In fact, how it comes to you is it's in this nice little box right here, and it's pretty epic because you can hack it together as you like. You can hack it apart. You can even print your own parts if one of them breaks. The guys at BQ thought, hey, why stop there? Let's make this an element of social change. So if you can check out this guy right here. This is a their Zoom board that's fully customizable. You have Bluetooth on here. There's a variety of different sensors you can attach to it. And they're, they're actually exercising this right now in classrooms in Spain. And it's just, it's kind of an amazing thing because we manufacture things from China. It's no secret. And it would be really interesting to see how scalable this can be. Uh, in fact, this guy is a robot that kids have made. It's a kind of a line follower robot. You know, you have sensors here and uh, they communicate, but I mean, it's so scalable and I'm really excited to see what BQ has in the future. Thanks guys. Welcome to Pandora Minion.